Okay, so it's the day after Charlotte. Uh, Doge is back. Elephant in the room. This fender is destroyed. Summary. Uh, hit wall. Drove it back in. Everything was fine. There's no suspension damage or anything like that. Well, actually, you need a bigger yeah. sledgehammer. They're giving yeah. it a sound thrashing. So they brought it to the pits, tried to hit it with big hammers. That didn't help. Went into the paddock, grabbed grinders. I just jumped out of the car, started grinding on it. Salzals are grabbed, grinders are grabbed. They're just cutting pieces away until we got to where we are now. Right now, we're about to take off the hood and the fender to see what damage there is. It doesn't look like there's much, so the Dodge should be back to back to good here in a little bit. All right, so we're on our way out to the uh, patented zip-tied body shop. We're gonna pull that front bumper out and push it in in a way that it's gonna look brand new. Okay, and so we, we've now made it to the body shop. As you can see, they've already got the chain ready for us. <laughs> Hook her up, give her a yank. I don't know about that. So it's two full days before we leave for Road Atlanta, and we have a list that I have basically not touched. The only thing I've actually done is check the brakes, so pff, we're one step ahead. We need to fix the front face because when you ram it into a wall, it tends to not look right. Windows, whoa. Actually, you know what, I did the quarter windows. I did these in some spare time, and they turned out good. Um, what they will get though, is a knack duct for the hula girl, because now the hula girl, she gets no wind. She's got windows all around her, you know, she still needs to dance for the world, so we got a knack a duct or in a blower while we race. That sounds not good. We'll blow her with, with wind, with wind, okay? Mo power? No, we're just, just no more power. Okay, throttle cable. Our uh, cable broke at Charlotte, and I did replace it, but it's not done because I didn't actually bolt the cable in. It's just sitting in the car. It's zip tied in right now, and that's good enough to move it around the yard. Please God, Buddha, seven pound, eight ounce, baby Jesus, flying spaghetti monster. Not another transmission issue. Um, this one, I mean, I, I don't know that we're getting to that till the day of the race, clean it. It's unlikely for that to, to happen. Where'd you get that Nacaduct? Rotate coil, that's another thing on the list. Um, while we're racing, it tends to overheat the coil when it's sitting like that, so I think I'm gonna try mounting it like that so it doesn't overheat. And then radios, we just wanna be able to talk. We haven't successfully talked yet to each other while on track, we've yelled at each other, but not really communicate. Hood scoop, also there, I made a new one. And we gotta get all of that done in like two days. It's very important to communicate with crew, as we have not found. We've just kind of raced and did it blindly. Whenever someone would show up, we'd be like, hey, car's broken. So hopefully this time we'll be able to actually communicate with each other that, hey, the car is broken, I'm coming. So this, important. So the old hood scoop, while it was glorious, is now pinned up on the wall because turns out when you hammer aluminum into a right angle, it tends to not be that strong. And so it broke off at like 115-ish. So now we have a stop sign. I guess you could call it professionally bent, but it's me doing it. So take that with, as you will. Um, it likes to live like that. And it looked mean.
we are on like the final, final little things we gotta do. I'm getting all like the tools and stuff ready. Um, the last little finishing touches are getting done to the car. Um, Jeremy is doing something special. So in the 90s in NASCAR, uh, a big thing was to modify the body. What tech inspectors used to do was make molds of the factory body and if you couldn't fit that mold, that meant you couldn't race. So what we've done here is we've made a template. If it doesn't fit, that's on Elliot. We're gonna make it not perfect and we're gonna try and get the car thrown out for it. I don't think they're gonna actually throw the car out, but I wanna you know, start a scene. Okay, so it's late a.m. It's late a.m. now. I am very tired. We have not loaded up at all, and we're still working on this stupid template thing, but I think it's gonna end up being funny, so it's probably gonna be worth it. Um, yeah, it's probably like one o'clock, and we leave in about seven hours, and we gotta sleep, and all that good stuff. And we're choosing to do none of it and instead do this. But anyway, I mean, we're closer than we were an hour ago, if that helps. All right, so it's Thursday night. We got the car about all wrapped up and ready to go. Just a couple minor things left to do. It's about a three and a half hour drive out to the track in the morning, and then we should be ready to go at Road Atlanta for tech at about 2.30 tomorrow. <laughs> 